Power push is good. Fuel pump off. Pressure is still good. Hey, bada 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 bada, sweet bada. Nice, I hear you. Oh, you got the camera going and everything. Yeah. <laughs> so we can record all my mistakes. <laughs> so we're doing partial panel again. Okay. Okay. Uh, partial panel, full panel, steep turns, uh, okay. stalls, things like that. Everything's going to be partial panel. Okay. Any questions? Now, uh, the steep turns we do as a standard rate, correct, for the uh, partial panel? Um, no, it should be at 45 degrees, at least, 40 okay. to 50. Oh, no, 45 degrees, sorry. But um, we'll try out that. You know, okay. it's, uh, you know I know that's... Been a while. Yeah, it's a little overwhelming sometimes. National Airport, Aegis Hotel, 21510, two, observation weather, wind calm, visibility 10, sky clear to 12,000, temperature 5, dew point minus 1, altimeter 3012, visual approach runway 24 in use, approaches multiple runways in progress, notice the airman taxiway echo north of runway 24 closed, runway 24 on my center line lighting out of service, advise controller on initial contact to Aegis Hotel. International Airport, Aegis Hotel, 2151, zero observation, weather, wind calm, visibility 10, sky clear to 12,000, temperature 5, dew point minus 1, altimeter 3012, visual approach runway 24 in use, approaches multiple runways in progress, notice the airman taxiway echo north of runway 24 closed, runway 24 on my center line lighting out of service, advise controller on initial contact to Aegis Hotel. Hey everyone, I hope you're all safe and well. I thought I'd leave it to my instructor to let you know what we was all going to do at the start. So while we're here taxiing, I'm just going to talk to you a little bit. And uh, throughout the video, where I can, I will also narrate. But ultimately, I will try and let the video and the lesson speak for itself. The major thing that I experienced out of this uh, lesson is the sensation of your body signals compared to trusting the instruments that's in front of you. Several times during this one hour, 1.4 ops time flight was that I didn't feel like I was turning, but I was, or like, like I thought the turn coordinator was lagging and it wasn't, it was me. My body felt like we were turning and straight and level. And um, it, it is just, it really brought home to me more than before how the body signals do absolutely betray you. The clip after this will be the actual lane for the takeoff. You'll get to see what it's actually like. But for the majority of the video, it is going to be as you see it here. The brightness increased so you can see the controls. After the point where he says we're in the clouds, he has the controls, I will interrupt the video because it it's a disruption when he covers the panels. You have to give yourself a second or two to uh, reorganize and do your pattern, cross pattern. So by disrupting the video for a little bit, like with something silly, and then coming back to it, you have to readjust and restart your scan. And it's, I found last time it really does simulate the disruption that you uh, experience when it actually happens to you in the plane. So when he covers the partial, the two panels, um, then you have to s start your scan all over again, readjust and figure out what's gone broken and what you need to do to fix it. Um, everything else it was a relatively smooth training flight nothing too hard nothing too complex the only thing I would say is that I learned again just how important it is to absolutely trust the instruments and to ignore what your body is telling you and that is harder than it sounds your body feels like you're straight and level or you're turning and it's not the case. You've got to trust the instruments in front of you and them alone. The IFR course, I didn't take long to learn that the VFR private pilot course 
teaches you how to fly. This IFR course treats you how to be safe. It's the seatbelt of the flight lessons. It doesn't mean you can go out and do crazy shit. It just means if you get into trouble, you can get on the ground home and safe to see your loved ones. Okay, so static check. Or do we just go because he took clearance to go? Yep, you're good. Up there right now with right. Two thousand. Air traffic is a Cherokee. All set. Now. Runway two four, clear for the option. Two four, clear for the option. I'm trying to get the flight. One All right. Air space five. Yeah. Sixty. 65, 70. Yeah, in the window, I love these birds. They love to fly. Oh, yeah, night? Yeah. Make sure, if, you, if you're too hot, let me know. Oh, no, I'm fine. Yeah, a bit of right rudder. Yeah, there you go. Got the airplane, you're in the clouds. Okay. Mayday! 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 Mayday? What the hell is that for? Mayday? Why, that's the Russian New Year. You know, we'll have a big parade and we'll serve hot or dirt. Take 177, turn right, heading 290, contact departure. 290, going to departure, 32177. All right. All right, I'm ready. I have the plane. You got the plane? I got the plane. You got the plane. And it's time to departure, Cherokee 32177, heading 290, leaving 1000 for 3000. Cherokee 32177, outbound departure, radar contact. Turn right on course and report on station. Right on course and report on station, 32177. Okay. Good. So, the scenario here is that you just took off, yes, and then, and then, failed. You got the worst of luck, failed, everything failed, everything fails, everything. Everything fails? Everything fails. And I would have to ask Tower for a radar, <sighs> but, but we don't know that it, now, uh, pretty much you lose your, uh, you, you, you lost your instrument, your main two instruments, which is what? Vacuum pump, vacuum pump, right? Lost your I gotta get out of here! Calm down! Get a hold of yourself! <laughs> vacuum pump. All oh, that is gone, right? Yeah. So, as you'll know, you're gonna have to be cognizant of cross checking all the instruments. Yeah. And making sure you're kind of, uh, kind of like you're in there now. What can you do with your GPS that'll give you a, a good reference? I'm in 161, Charlie Off. Um, Hey, one six one Charlie Alpha, I'm Tanner We can uh, we can switch it to the that. There you go. Good. So now you uh, track. Keep keep an eye on track. The track can actually be three three zero as we plan. Yeah. Right. Now remember always that this plane has a turn tendency to the left. Yes. So if you kind of uh, fall asleep on it a little bit, you know. Yeah. Okay, so coming up, um, one of the best advices or main change from VFR to IFR is coming up where he tells me what to do with my um, We on VFR always are told to guard the power. I'm not doing anything. I just have my arm on there and I uh, Smooth on the controls too. Yeah. 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 Smooth now. There's a trick. trick. You just yeah, I know that a lot of instructors just that you had told you to keep your, uh, keep your hands on the throttle. Yeah. Take your hands off and watch everything. From Brudry, okay. From Brudry. Okay. Under above 2,500. Cleared. GPS Alpha in the brain network. This point, or, you know, you're going on 3,000. If any, if any, if any loss of power, you have enough time. Yeah. To push that back in. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. If you're taking off and you're landing, yeah, you hands want to be on that controls. Yeah. But if you're up here already, you then know, you don't need to. You, yeah, it's better to have the full scope of everything instead of worrying. See, your your mind is is set. 
on that power. Yes, it okay? is. Okay, so then you forget other things. All right, you start to forget other things. If you just set your power as it is, you know, just so leave the it there. One zero eight, maintain beach. Just fly your 3, plane. It'll be diamond doing Just at. like that. Put your fingertips. Nice. This is 4710. You accept on, just verify. And maintain via far below. So, yeah, as you see, it makes sense. Uh, like, once you have your arm up there, your mind is always on that path, and you forget simple things. It's being drain, drained into us so much that that's what we do. We keep our hand there and we keep it there religiously. Which if you're new or just uh, learning as a student, that's a good thing. But like you said, up at 3,000 feet, you don't really need your hand there. You can just sit and observe and monitor for small changes. Uh, if you do have time to put All the right. hand back in. Give me a nice ascent down to 3,000. So, to 3,000. It makes absolute sense to me. It's there you go. Near 4861. Keep this heading. 3013, unable runway 6 for other traffic in Memphis 2 4. Near 4861, just going to maintain 6000. While you're doing that, I want you to do a plan and a checklist. Uh, actually, cruise checklist, sorry. Cruise checklist. Cruise checklist, like electric fuel pump off. Roger, turn to the right down one for runway 24. Contact tower 1 2. Pressure is still good. Right down for 24, tower 24. Power is already set. Make sure is well. We won't make sure until we're actually using because we're descending. And the lights remain on. Good. That's the cruise checklist. Perfect. Yes, can go. Okay. Keep this can going. I said 3,000. Yeah. You're pulling back, but you're not giving power. Not going oh. back to crew settings. Yeah, that's right. There you go. I want you to give me a left turn, and I want you to heading 270. Two seven zero. Zero. Heading 270, two clear lane. Maintain 3,000. Back to crew settings, don't touch, okay? Remember, nice and easy. Yeah, that was too uh, one level two two turn right heading zero five zero. It's all about laziness. This one, okay? Okay. All right. Let me know the turn one eight zero. One eight zero. Yeah, maintain 3,000. One zero six zero vector visual approach, runway 24. Sun Devil 2-2, two, two, Altan Airport, 9 o'clock, 7 miles. Level 2 2 clear to visual approach, runway 24, contact tower 120.5. Very good. Okay, we're in the right arc. There's no flaps. Your slow flight speed is going to be 70. Okay. okay. R51 Alpha Lima, contact New York Center. And 3,000. On A0, keep scanning. Check 32177, how much further south are you going to go? Uh, it's going to be only about a mile. We're going to get ready to turn to 270. Uh, 
uh, at this moment. 177. Roger, thank you. Give me a turn to the right. 270. 72. Remember, set power, okay? Yeah. You have full flaps. You're probably going to use, utilize a little bit more than that, yeah? Yeah, power. Power 5 1 Alpha Lima, contact New York Center, 124.62. We're doing good, okay? Not bad. I want a zero. Seems like this is lagging a little bit. I left that tiny little clip in because I want you to remember that I said this. Remember, develop a scan, successful scan, and, and, and keep in mind that you know your pitch uh, information is all going to come from mostly the altimeter. Okay. okay? Altimeter is the fastest thing in changing altitudes. If you're changing pitch, you're changing altitudes right away. Okay. So the altimeter is the, the fastest one that's going to react. Okay. The airspeed and the vertical speed indicator okay. is always going to lag. Zero four three. Here's traffic. Twelve o'clock. One five miles. Opposite direction. Rigged. Okay. Uh, that's the thing that's messing you up. It's the uh, the uh, yeah. the fact that she's a little bit unrigged. Uh, controls a little bit going to the left a little bit. Yeah. There you go. Okay. I'm gonna. All right. Right on. That's not true. Perhaps. Okay. Put the notches. For, yeah, there you go. Put the notches first. Control the speed first. Let her descend, or let her uh, kind of stabilize a little bit because of the abrupt changes of the flaps. Yeah. Once you have 70, trim it, and then change according to the power settings. Okay. Yeah. You want to kind of tap the power. That's it. Look at that. You don't yeah. even have to change much. Anything, right? No. Look at that. That looks really good. So now remember the setting, right? You have 70. Yeah. You have 2,000 RPMs. You have 3,000. It's not even going up or down. This is just, you know, the plane likes it. Yeah. Right? Uh, good. So now give me another left turn. Let's go to the north. And again, nice and easy changes, okay? Left turn to the north, 360. And maintain 3,000. There you go. Change, then evaluate. Change, then evaluate. Perfect. Three thousand uh, to the north, right? Yeah, three six zero. Okay. Standard rate. Yeah. All right, good. Our cop to 2704. Now, stabilizer, two give me a power off stall. Power off stall? Yep. Power off stall to a full recovery. Maintain 270 heading. Yep. All right, let's get back to 270 first.
There you go. It's pitch. Right. Yeah. It's still pitching up. There you go. All right. Another turn, zero nine zero to the right. Zero nine zero to the right. Six zero Charlie Golf, downtown approach, downtown Timber three zero one three. So for this turn, again, I thought the turn coordinator was lagging. It did not feel like at all, according to my body, that we were turning. My body was lying to me. If you look at the screen, it doesn't look like we're turning unless you look at the little twinkly lights. But remember, I have the overcast on. I don't see what you're seeing. Right, so weird. My body sensations is messing it up. It didn't feel like I was turning at all. <laughs> I know. I I could see that, huh? Yeah. Zero nine zero. Keep going. Oh. <laughs> All right. I can tell that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Bridge tank. So. Yep. Oh, you gotta okay. switch them? Yep. Bump is good. It's good. And I'm gonna check. That's rest 270. There you go. Alright. We're gonna do some steep turns, okay? Okay. So let's keep it at 270. You're gonna show me the first steep turn to the left and another one to the right, okay? Okay. Remember, it's 45 degrees. Okay. Play a line, but whenever you. Now, if you guys can bear with me and allow or forgive this video going to 30 minutes instead of like 20 or 25 minutes, I wanted to leave this bit unedited that's coming up because this uh, we're doing steep turns, which is uh, something that we've all done during our VFR training, but it's a little bit different when you're doing it at night and when you have the overcasters on when you don't have any visual cues. And the way that he showed me is a little bit different from what I was used to or been shown. And he gave a lot of good tips and a lot of good advice. And it's a unique way or a different way to that I've been taught before. And it's a lot of great information. So I'm just going to let the video go unedited until the end. And then that will be the end of the video. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And thank you for staying up uh, to the end. Uh, let me know if you like these lessons. I'll keep doing them if you want me to do more of these videos. Um, I do it just to keep myself in check and to do self-analysis. But I also do like posting it on here. Like um, I'm really fortunate to have an awesome instructor. Um, this is... IFR training is a blessing in disguise. It is so critical to keeping you safe, and that is the most and the only reason that you need to do IFR training is to keep yourself safe and alive, and those that you fly with you. For speed is. Yeah, it's supposed to be PA. Yeah. So the left one was not bad, but the right one was. Well, number one, right? Again, you're kind of doing it kind of like the hard way. Yeah. Oh, so I got controls. I want you to watch the controls. Okay, you go. 527 Golf Sierra, on 10 approach. Now. On 10 approach, 527 Golf Sierra. Now uh, notice how I fly the airplane. I always okay. fly power settings. Okay, it's not. Oh, I need more power. No, power settings. And remember your aerodynamics principles. Okay. Once you turn, these aerodynamics change drastically. Okay. Okay. 
be changed very drastically. So that, that's where your control inputs are going to be very uh, crucial. Okay. Because now you know what changed. And you already know that this airplane's turning a little bit to the left. Yes. You start at 3,270, right? Let's turn 270. There's 270, right? Okay. Now the turn doesn't have to be a snap turn. It could be slow. Okay. But to 45 degrees, okay? So here's your turn, right? Yes. You start your turn to the left first. Clear the left. Everything's cleared. You start your turn to the left, okay? A little bit of power. Just a tiny bit. And continue that left turn. Now you know that your aerodynamics will change, so pull back a little bit. Yeah, because it's going to start to change. There's your 45. Okay? Okay. Aerodynamics will still change, so you pull back a little bit. You're anticipating, okay? Okay. Oh, notice that needle is not going anywhere. No, it's not. See that? Yeah. No snap, tur no snap turns. No, not none of that stuff. And you're still at 45 degrees, so. Oh, we're ascending a little bit, no problem. Release it a little bit, okay? Okay. But still keep that turn on. Release the pressure. Oh, we're going down again. Okay, increase the pressure a little bit. And so on, right? Yes. A nice and easy turn. Here's 270. Forward pressure just a bit because you already know that the plane's going to want a balloon. Yeah. Okay. All right. Clear right. Turn it to the right. Same thing, okay? Right? Not too much of a pressure differential, but here it goes, right? A little bit of pressure because you know she's definitely going to drop. Yeah. Right? Just keep her there. Nice and easy, right? Yeah, no snap dead at all. That's a lot better. Yep. Nice and easy. Obviously, I have a little bit more control because, you know, I practice these for a while and also I have visual reference. Yeah. Because I have to. Right? But if you keep this nice and easy, Right? Not too many abrupt controls. And you can see that I'm not even fighting it. It's just a little bit of pressure, a little bit of pressure release, pressure going, pressure release, pressure going, yeah. and so on. Right? And that's it. Right about here, I start to loosen up the turn. Okay. Right? And nice and easy and release. Boom. Right? Yes. Now that's what I want you to do. Now notice this, right? I took my one hand. Yes. And I just did this. That's it. Yeah, you did nothing with the power at all. Nothing with the power much, right? Yeah. That, because I fly power settings. So we need to fly power settings because it's the power setting that gets gets us that... We, we get to know the airplane at that power setting. You know what I'm saying? Yes. We get to know it and how it acts. I want you to try that one more time. Okay. okay. This time, one more time, just add a little bit of power and then with your arm rest... Yes. And your arm up and down, okay? Nice and easy, just changing just changing your headings. Nice okay. and easy, okay? All right, give me 270 again. Okay. I'll clear your area. You're yeah, uh, clear to the left, okay? Okay, 270. Uh, just use that right now, okay? 2,900. And just don't snap roll it. There you go. Be a little bit of back pressure because you already know that plane's going to start to drop. Look at that speed. Yeah. You see that? Yeah, I see. Aerodynamics, right? Principles. I already know that this airplane's going to start to drop. More back pressure. Nice and easy. Not too much. All right, we just hold it there, okay? Hold it there. Hold it right there. More a little back, back, back pressure. More, just a little bit more. And I didn't catch your altitude. 3,000 and uh, November 9th. A little bit more. 26, Quebec, uh, roger that, maintain. All right, comes 270, start rolling it out nice and easy. Roll it out nice and easy. There you go. 26, Quebec, roger that, proceed on. Oh, now release the pressure because she's going to want to pitch up. Okay. There you go. There you go. There's your wake. Yep. All right, now to the right. Nice and easy, though. Nice and easy. Not too fast, okay? Yeah. Back pressure. Back pressure. Back pressure. Back pressure. Anticipate it. Back pressure. You feel her. Yeah. She's good. She's want to get fast, but it's not really showing the changes yet because it's not changing altitudes yet. Right? Yes. There you go. Now you got her. You see that? Okay. Now it's going up. A little bit more of a turn. A little bit more back pressure. Yeah. More of a tight. Tighten up the turn a little bit and more back pressure. But you see that the speed is now very stable. 
Yes, it is. Right? There you go. There you go. Mar back pressure. Don't let her go out. Here it comes 2-7. Start taking her out. Nice and easy. Start taking it out. There you go. Now release the back pressure because she's going to want to climb drastically. Look. Yeah. Ooh, she's climbing drastically. See that? So it makes a difference. Everything's a finesse. Now, they make you do this is because they want you to develop that, that keen perception. You know, they want you to develop uh, you know, reading the instruments and so on, interpreting what the airplane wants to do and what doesn't want to do, okay? Yeah. All right. So what do you think? Good to go? Yeah, that's good one. All right. Perfect. Close. So let's go ahead and start heading back. Uh, okay. I uh, think you did a good job, but uh, we need to work on the steep turns a little bit. Yeah, That's definitely. not too bad, okay? And the turning, te turning tendencies. Yep. Division of attention. All this shows division of attention, coordination, all that stuff. So yeah. Not that you want to do steep turns. Now, uh, okay. Currently, your yeah. left front at 3,000, heading westbound. We have Valley International Airport Information, India, 2251 Zulu. Wind calm, visibility 10. Sky conditions 5,500 scattered. Temperature 4, dew point minus 2. Altimeter 3013. Visual approach runway 24 in use. Land and departing runway 31 on request. Notice airman, runway 24, turn on the lights, out of service. Taxi echo north of 24 closed. Advise to contact of information, India. And. I was just gonna change it to Abe so we can find out how far we are. Sure. One Charlie Alpha, traffic no longer a factor, VFR to St. Yard Alright, traffic no longer a factor, oh. VFR to St. Yard Discretion, we hey. do have to stay in sight once it is one Charlie Alpha. Roger that. Radar service terminated. Squawk VFR. Change proved. Currently appears to be no. And we're at the south, correct? 